All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, you know what happens when you, usually happens when you lose a fantasy football league, you just pay some money, right? I mean, you just lose some money. We have a fantasy football league here at the credit union, but as we all know, it's illegal to gamble with money at a private institution. Right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So instead, what happens is the loser has to do some sort of entertainment for all staff. So with that as a preamble, and by the way, he's got the longest walk-up song in the history of walk-up songs, let me present to you Mr. Bradley Blue, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, listen up, here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world, and all day and all night and everything he sees. Of course this is my walk-up music. That's my last name, and there's a song about it. And a blue Corvette And everything is blue for him Most people get a walk-up song about one of their positive attributes, but me? Just my last name. What if they did that for everyone? Like, Mike Toomey, for example. His should be, You are so beautiful to me. Come to think of it, that's his last name and a positive attribute. Okay, Brad, it's go time, buddy. Everybody's looking at you. Calm down, just uh, uh, picture everyone in their underwear. <laughs> oh, didn't figure Raymer as a long underwear man. Uh, thank you very much for having me, everyone. Uh, I just flew in from an adjustable rate mortgage convention for mobile homes, and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> yeah, that was a groaner, because mobile homes have tires. Uh, <laughs> I, I wish that I could say that was going to be the worst pun of my act, but uh, my, my whole thing is like this weird blend of bad pun and deadpan. I call it bedpan. <laughs> What's your shtick, Batman? Um, <laughs> but that's, that's for comics who are either uh, too lazy or sick to do uh, toilet humor, I guess. <laughs> Technically, you can't even call it stand-up, right? Anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, yeah, as Dave mentioned, uh, I am not a stand-up comic. I'm just up here because I lost my fantasy football league. Uh, <laughs> raise your hand if you were in that league. Okay, so by this cast, cast of characters, you can tell there was a lot of trash talking. And I, oh, sorry, I missed a comma there. That's trash talking. Um, <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, anyway, my, my team was really bad, though. My team was, uh, my, my team, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> my team was so bad, my defense was listed as questionable. Um, no, sir, that was a joke, but this is serious. Um, <laughs> I actually lost to the guy who drafted both Adrian Peterson and Ray Rice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that was actually Jesse Burke, and we all lost to him. He won the whole thing. Um, we, we think he was on steroids, but we can't prove it. <laughs> I, uh, I was nervous to get up here today, and not just because of the, the fact that I've never done this before, but uh, I've been putting on a little bit of weight. Um, <laughs> a little bit self-conscious, but uh, I've, got a, I've got a new daughter at home, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the lifestyle of being a new parent is not at all conducive to, uh, to weight loss. You know, I, I, squeeze in a, I squeeze in a burger here, I practically live on Starbucks, you know, like live in La Venti Mocha. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, <laughs> it's tough to lose weight though. Now I got the camera on me. That's gonna add ten pounds. <laughs> then uh, what? A, a picture is worth a thousand words. So every pound is worth a hundred words. I'm gonna start telling people I weigh twenty thousand words. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Twenty-three thousand words. <laughs> Too many selfies, I guess. <laughs> Too much words with friends. <laughs> that saying about cameras is so true. Like I was reading about the new 747. That thing weighs a million pounds. But if you look at a picture of it, 
it looks like it weighs a million ten pounds. So, yeah. <laughs> um, which makes me wonder, I wonder if they took your picture on the moon if it would only add 1.7 pounds. Anyway, uh, yeah, I am, um, losing weight is very difficult. I want to start a weight loss company for men with the slogan, we eliminate the man middle. I do that a lot. I think of, <laughs> I think of slogans a lot. It's like, it's my, my weird thing. Like, I think, um, I think the Glade bathroom stuff should be uh, heir to the throne. And then, and then, <laughs> and then I think Febreze should be complete nonsense. Um, today's April Fool's Day. Uh, is it just me or has this holiday gotten a little bit too much, um, kind of icky, it's too commercialized now. Uh, let's not forget that this is a holiday invented by Spencer's to sell gag gifts, okay? Um, and if you don't believe me, just go try and buy them flowers today. You know, try, just, you know those lapel pin water square flowers? Just try buying one, it'll be like $20. You can go in tomorrow and get 12 for five bucks. You know, it's just the, the commercialization, it just, it icks me out. And before you say anything, yes, my hatred of this holiday began, you know, back when I, when I didn't have anyone with me on April Fool's Day. Um, <laughs> you know, when I, I would just, I would just sit at home um, and uh, watch my Facebook feed fill up with all these happy couples pranking each other, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm just sitting there by myself watching uh, candid camera reruns. But so, you know, even though now I've found my lifelong prank partner in Tara, um, we have decided not to celebrate this holiday for no other reason than we just think it's more meaningful to prank each other throughout the rest of the year. So, yeah, um, I'll, I'll get off my soapbox about that. I, I hope more of us will uh, uh, identify with this. I am so happy the headquarters is staying in Burbank. Um, but I just hope they don't hire the same jokers who switched the men's and women's bathroom on the first floor. What in the world kind of joke is that? Am I the only one who surprised a few members? Like, <laughs> April Fools! Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, I, um... <laughs> so, yeah, I, I do think, in all seriousness, that space is underutilized. We have so many members going back and forth to the bathroom all day, and, um, we don't have any marketing material up there. And hear, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I think above the urinals in the men's restroom, we should have a poster that says, your financial future is in your hands, <laughs> figuratively. <laughs> figuratively, mind you. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> Uh, no, I do that. I think of slogans a lot, all the time. I'm just, I'm going like, I think, uh, I think Rolex should be, there's no present like the time. Um, I think the U.S. government needs a slogan and there should be a waste is a terrible thing to mind. Um, <laughs> no, advertising is just, it's like one of my hobbies. I, I just, I love it. I'm the kind of guy who will get up during the game so that I don't miss the ads, which explains why I'm so terrible at fantasy football. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I, I have lots of hobbies. Uh, advertising is one. Um, dork, dorky enough, I like to take pictures of airliners. Um, that was supposed to be up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um, I like to take pictures of airliners, um, fine dining, and uh, rap battling. Yeah, yeah, that's, that one surprises a lot of people. But, uh, you know, it's true. And one thing I really like to do, <clears throat> excuse me, one thing that I really like to do is combine my hobbies. So for example, I've combined rap battling and advertising. Would you like to hear it? Yes. Okay. Check my flow. What can brown do for you? Would you rather think blue? Can you taste the rainbow when you do the do? Miller may be less villain, but it still has great taste like a mind. It's a terrible thing to waste. Dirty mouth, you can clean it up with orbit. Dirty counter, quicker, thicker, pick it up, or we'll absorb it. There'll be a pleasure, there'll be a fun, but you can't eat just one, but think outside the bun. Intel's inside, but think outside the box. Ford is built tough, but my Chevy's like a rock. Get your own box, it said, while you're thinking outside of it. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz, if you just had a night of it. We love to see you smile. We go the extra mile. We try harder. We're banking, but smarter. If you pick Enterprise, we'll pick you up. And the king of beers, guys, got me screaming, what's up?
there. Great, says one tiger. Just do what says another. It's tested by a kid, but approved by a mother. And speaking of tigers, you can put one in your tank. But lion is for Wall Street. There's a better way to bank. Got milk? That's good. You know, I'm sure glad to hear it. Got some cabin in your grave? That's my favorite spirit. If it happens in Vegas, it stays in the place. Maybe it's Maybelline. If it stays on your face, it's good to the last drop. It snaps, crackles, and pops. And once you pop, you can't stop, but you won't last long of the copper top. Fly the friendly skies if you want to get your flight on and stay with these guys, because you know they'll leave the light on. <laughs> Nothing sucks like an Electrolux or runs like a deer or tastes like a foster. That's Australian for beer. Guinness gives you strength. Red Bull gives you wings. Coles give you bargains, so expect great things. What's in your wallet? Quit bragging about it. Oh, an Amex card. Never leave your home without it. Save for the high of Zildjian, an American symbol. Using puns in the ads of my rap battle raps because my tongue attacks. Ad hominimble. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, the comedy stylings of Brad Blue. Wow. All I've got to say is thank God John Raymer did not lose that uh, fantasy football league. 